What's up, Cal gang? All right, so we got the statics problem here, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the centroid of the y center mass on this thing here. So let's get started. So when you're finding the centroid, uh, basically you want to go ahead and split it up into the simplest shapes possible. So here we have a pretty complex shape. There's a lot of things going on. And the best way to do this is just to split it up into three simple shapes. So you want shapes that are all very easy to find the center of mass of. So the first one, let's make these two rectangles. So now we have three rectangles. We have this rectangle, this rectangle, and this rectangle. Those are all gonna be really easy to find the center of mass of, so that's why we did that. So we're gonna label these. We're gonna label this one to be one, label this one to be two, and label this one to be three. So now we have three rectangles, and we're gonna plug them into our chart here. So this chart, you always wanna have segment, area, or volume, or length, depending on what kind of shape you have, and then the center of mass. So this is the center of mass of each segment, and then we're gonna multiply area times the center of mass of the segment, and that's gonna help us plug it into our formula at the end. So let's get started on this. So let's start, we have segment one, segment two, and then segment three. So for segment one, it's area, right? Its area is gonna be uh, 15 times 200. So because it's 15 tall, 200 wide, pretty simple. So its area is 3,000, right? So then the next one, segment two, it's 15, or 15 thin and uh, 400 tall. So it's gonna be 15 times 400, which is 6,000. Right? And the last one is 300 long and 15 tall. So 15 times 300 is 4,500. Right? So these are in millimeters uh, squared. So we're going to make sure that our answer is going to stay in millimeters. So now we need to find the center of mass of all of these. So we're looking for the center of mass in the y direction. So the center of mass here, the center of mass of this one, and the center of mass of this one. So starting with one. If it's 15 tall, its center of mass is going to be in the center because it's a rectangle. So we're taking half of 15, so we know that it's, it's going to be uh, 7.5. So then let's do the next one, right? Oh, there's no on this chair. It's gross. Get a new chair. Yeah. Okay, so then we're looking at segment two. So segment two is off the ground, so we know that it's 400 tall. So it's easy to say that its center of mass is gonna be 200 millimeters of its height. But we need to consider that this is zero, so we have to go up 15 first before we add that 200. So for this one, we're gonna go, it's gonna be 15 plus 200, which is 215. Nice. So then the last one, uh, it's another 15 meter thick one. So it's gonna be half of that, so it's gonna be 7.5 meters, right, halfway halfway between, but then we need to add the 15 to the 400 to the half of it. So this equation is 15 plus 400 plus 7.5. And you've plugged it in, you get 422.5. So then all we have to do is multiply these numbers together. So we're multiplying y tilde times a. So 7.5 times 3,000 is 22,500. Then this time we're doing 215 times 6,000, which is 1,290,000, right, for two. And then for three, we're multiplying this by this, so we're gonna get another giant number, so this one will be 1,901,250. All right, so now we have everything we need in the table, and let's just go ahead and find it. So the equation for y bar is, an, is a fraction, so on the top, we're doing sum of the y tilde a's over the sum of the areas. All right, so this is why we found this last part, because we're just gonna add these up and then divide it by these being added up. So what's gonna look like, we're gonna add 22,500 with 1,290,000 plus 1,901,250, right, like that. And then on the bottom of the fraction, we're just gonna add up our areas this will be 3,000 plus 6,000 plus 4,500. Right. So then plug it in. Y bar is equal to 238 millimeters. And there's your final answer. So not too tricky, just making sure you know how to split it up, make your table, and solve.
So yeah, if you have any trouble on these questions, feel free to check out my playlist. I got a whole lot of these. And any other statics questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll get around to it. So thank you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.